This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Uganda is making a major renovations to its hospitals to allow patients in need of special medical care receive treatment within the country instead of having to fork out the curse to make their way overseas. The country is investing millions of dollars in its medical system as it aims to build state-of-the-art hospitals that will allow Ugandans to enjoy a whole new level of specialized care. Among those who could benefit are patients with life-threatening ailments. Authorities say the facility will be featured with 20 theaters using the latest technology. It's a whole different story in the healthcare system in Zimbabwe, where it's straining due to a severe shortage of drugs and a number of recent strikes that have left patients stranded. The sector has suffered a massive lack of skilled workers over the last decade, leaving many hospitals undisturbed and long waiting hours for basic consultation at government hospitals. In all these tertiary hospitals, uh, we are lacking uh, essential drugs to treat people. And also our machinery, uh, our equipment has become old and some of it is irreparable. We'll be back after this short break. Looking for some Disney magic but don't know where to find it? We've got a magical solution just for you. Simply go to DisneyNigeria.mobi and get an exciting selection of games, short videos, wallpapers, shareables and more. Explore a whole new world of Disney on your mobile, tablet or PC. For just 200 Naira monthly, you get to enjoy the fun to infinity and beyond. SMS Disney to 11006 to begin. Terms and conditions apply. This service is only available to MTN customers. Sudan's Interior Minister Bishara Juma has told Parliament that six persons were killed in the capital Khartoum during protests and one more died in the western region of Darfur. Juma also said in the statement 15 civilians and 42 members of the security forces were injured in the demonstrations, adding that nearly 2,500 protesters were arrested in Khartoum. On Monday, an attempt by the security forces to break up the demonstration was thwarted by the military, who defended the crowd when they came under fire. Protesters have defied a curfew to call for the resignation of President Omar al-Bashir. That's ANN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, annafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at annafricatv. I am Lucy Adeyemi.